Sports come on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. What's going on, everybody? You're listening to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the Guy. We coming at you because we welcoming in a brand new saint to the fold. That's right, Mr. Cam Ron Meredith is is now a New Orleans Saint wide receiver. The Chicago Bears refused. That's right, refused, refused to sign on this tender match with the Saints. Gave so that's a two year deal. The Saints got for Cam Ram, Mer, uh, Meredith at nine million six hundred thousand, nine point six million. Five point four guaranteed, baby. Well, five point four, yep, guaranteed, and uh, that's two years now. DC, I'm gonna bring you in, my boy. Uh, I'm gonna bring you into the full. How you doing tonight, brother? Oh, I'm good, man. All right, they, we we must be doing good. Uh, quickly, bro, I'm gonna have to. I just want to say this right quick about the new this, the New Orleans Saints off season so far. They have done an absolutely tremendous job in fortifying some key positions. They've been really, they've just been proactive, not just regular after, but proactive in looking for improvement on the offensive line and the defensive line. Demario Davis. Yeah, we, we touched a lot of different spots, man. Right. Pro- looking at prospects, we covered in the previous uh, podcast, uh, the, the Sports Coma latest full edition. Y'all can check that out, it'll be linked here. And, and it's just amazing. I just love what's happening. And it's just opening the draft up even further. By the way, we'll be doing part two of our drafts individually. Got a lot of love uh, from the first part one. So y'all guys like the first part. Y'all be looking out for part two. That'll be coming real soon anyway. But DC, let's go another one now once we sign this guy. And we got, uh, we got an offensive lineman too. Right. We're looking at And, some... and Multi and, uh, and Zach Lyons. Right, we added some more depth. So, yeah, it, it's definitely in changing uh, how the next draft going to look out. But let's talk about Mr. Cameron Meredith. This show is exclusively, uh, you know, given to him, this segment anyway. Two years, 9.6 yeah. mil, D.C. Uh, tell us about Cameron Meredith. Cameron Meriton is a very interesting player, man. Uh, it's very interesting to me that uh, Chicago would let him walk. The first thing I noticed about this guy is he's based. Basically, Mr. Chicago. Uh, he was born in Chicago. Uh, he went to the high school in Westchester, Illinois, which isn't that far from Chicago. Um, well, I'm saying he's born in Chicago, but he's born in Illinois. But uh, he basically went to high school there. Then he went to Illinois State. You know what I'm saying? He played uh, as a backup quarterback, tradition to transition to wide receiver, and came into the NFL – and uh, he didn't really do much his first first season or so in the league. And then he just took it by storm um, in Chicago when they kind of cleaned house and started rebuilding and had that 26, uh, 2016 season in which he got hurt. And if he wouldn't have, he would have easily got 1,000 yards. So um, it's a very interesting player, man. He's, he's fast, not the fastest guy, but he's fast quick and shifty and it's very unique for a tall guy to be that quick and shifty amazing on screen plays um you got trick plays you can run with him so he can throw uh on a trick play similar to the play we ran with Willie okay. Steve where he kind of messed that pass up against the Vikings yeah Cameron Meredith can do that and uh and he can also catch possession type uh Type catches as well. Okay, um, well, you, you went into a lot uh, of stuff, DC. That's that's real interesting because that was one of the questions I was going to ask because I know you're familiar uh, familiar with Cameron Meredith. You talked about number him before, two, man. right? So True number two receiver, right? It, he come now. He's coming off a torn ACL and MCL, and that was one of the particular right. things that uh, the Chicago Bears, according to some reports that I've gotten, they were hesitant on giving him an extra million dollars because they don't feel must not feel very competent in com- him rehabbing <laughs> off that torn MC- ACL MCL. So, <laughs> but they feel, they feel confident off of Robinson doing it from the Jaguars. There you right? go. I there you go. Absolutely. Funny. See a that new man, funny, new plan, man. new that man, funny. new everybody's plan. saying the same thing, you know, and 
you could have got this guy for a lot cheaper. And to be honest, Robinson is a good receiver, but I'm not sure he's like All right, well, just leaps and bounds better than Cameron Meredith. Well, listen to this, DC. We got that interview uh, from Cameron Meredith. It's coming from ESPN 1000 uh, show Waddle and Sylvie as uh, Meredith chimed in on uh, his potential new home, the New Orleans Saints. Here you go. Were you, su- were you surprised that the Bears did not match? Uh, you know what? This, you know, um, you know, even coming out of uh, high school and going into college, not really being a part of the recruiting process. Uh, this is kind of my first time being a part of, um, you know, free agency. So it was different for me. But um, you know, I enjoyed the process. I was, uh, I was glad that the Bears, you know, kind of gave me an opportunity to, to kind of uh, see where I stood with, uh, you know, with other teams and stuff like that. But um, you know, all things were, all things were possible. So um, I didn't really know what to expect. But um, at the end of the day. Um, you know, it is what it is now. What did they say to you as to why they decided not to match the offer from the Saints? Um, you know, it was just it was just the right move for you know the Bears as a as a whole as a, as a team and as for me as a player, um, we just felt that this was the best way to go. Did they mention you coming back from this injury? Was this a medical decision in your opinion on their behalf? Yeah, yeah, I was all saying. Um, you know, it's been a big part of my off season, um, making sure my knee and my and my recovery is right so that I'm able able to come back, you know, 100%. So um, with that being said, you know, I haven't had any setbacks or anything like that. So um, I don't think anyone was, you know, had that as a major concern. So this was a decision, in your opinion, that was not made based on your where your knee is right now and where it will be when the season begins? Um, I think in the grand scheme of things, I don't really, I don't really know the, you know, the specific details or why they did it or, right. you know, why they didn't. So um, you know, I just get control of what I can, you know, what I can do. You know, going forward. Cameron Meredith joining us. Waddling. That's Cameron Meredith, man, saying there's no injury, that he feels good and he's ready to roll, man. That's all I, I, I care about. No setbacks in his, his uh, yeah. rehabilitation. And this guy, six foot three, 207 pounds, a big guy with speed, uh, four, four years in the league, DC, 25 years old. Uh, this, this, this guy can really, he'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So, and he, he did a lot, man. Uh, in Chicago, in that one year that he really came out, he only played in 14 games. And guess how many he started? He only started 10 games. And he had eight, 888 yards with four touchdowns and four 100-yard uh, games, man. And before people two say, well, in that's... in December and two in October. And before people say that that don't seem like a lot, please take in consideration the guy that was throwing to him. Their he QB situation. The QB situation <laughs> no QB. in Chicago was no, they didn't have a QB before Trubisky and all those. It was just they didn't after, have Trubisky then. Yeah, right, it was trash QBs at that time. So his production could have been better. Didn't they have Brian QBs, Hoyer? But, I don't know some garbage up there. Whatever. <laughs> I think they it was. had Brian Hoyer, man. <laughs> Terrible. But anyway, DC, where let, let's talk about. Uh, we know Cameron Meredith is in here, and I know you spoke about uh, some of the ways the Saints can use him. But being at the Saints, bringing this kid in here, two years, ten million uh, for him. Obviously, it's a tryout deal. The Saints uh, seeing what the, you know uh, what the man could do. Uh, where you where quickly uh, before we move on to our next topic? Where do you see uh, uh, Meredith playing? Either the, either two or the three. Which your which your which your uh, top? Which what, what you think about that? Uh, a combination of both. Both. You just want to get him on the field. Uh, the combination of him, Michael Thomas, and Tay again is pretty scary. Uh, especially if Ben Watson is what we thought he was, and then you have Alvin Kamari. We basically become the old Saints, where uh, last year we were very good on offense, but Cameron Meredith makes us not predictable anymore because you have several guys that that you can give the ball to, and they can make a big play. This should easily fix our third-down conversion problems, and I see him basically in the two or the third slot, depending on the play. Him and take right. and basically be switched around. It's gonna be awesome, man, to have him here, man. And uh, by the by, the sounds of it, and uh, from reports I heard, he was he knew the Saints were serious. They came after, him, made him a good offer, and we got him down here now. New wide receiver in, old receiver out. Willis need done with the Saints. Quick call on that. Well, may not be done. We may have him on the roster, but the days of him being that third wheel pretty much over. You're right. Well, they gave him a little chick. They gave him a can do everything Willie Snead can do better. He better. can throw the ball on trick plays. He can catch passes over the middle. Uh, he can be that safety valve guy. Big, he can run the scrum. He can do everything Willie Snead can do, but better. Mike Thomas. <laughs> and you see how you see he almost eclipsed the thousand yards two seasons with us. Mike Thomas, Ted Ginn Jr., 
Cam Meredith, Benjamin Watson. Willis Snead would be the four guy. Willis Snead would be the four guy. Though. If he signs his, his uh, church's chicken tender, because uh, that's about as the lowest they tender the Saints could do. So. At this point, man, nobody don't want him. Oh come on, <laughs> that's mean. Maybe after the draft. Maybe yeah. after. The draft. Perhaps, perhaps. But anyway. Okay, well, that's what we got on Cam Ryan Meredith, uh, folks. We also have uh, some more information pertaining to our draft. Uh, we'll have the second part of the draft. Of course, we we work in a draft, the draft, do latest Saints signings and acquisitions. Got a couple of weeks off before the uh, two thousand, I mean, two thousand eight NFL draft is upon us out of Dallas and uh, the house that Jerry built. It's going to be interesting. So DC will have his uh, mock draft coming up uh, real soon. What do you think? So DC, about the next couple of days, it'll be out. Uh, I don't know. You tell me. When does it do? Say so about a couple of days. We'll have both <laughs> drafts available for y'all uh, to check out uh, via the video reports. And a lot of people kind of chiming off, uh, really liking those uh, draft picks. A lot of people agreeing to oh, it. We got, we got a draft every uh, – we're going to do a draft every week or so until uh, the draft we comes, just right? Get, right, we got this draft and then the the last draft, the, the week leading up into the draft. And we'll, you know, we'll kind of adjust it. And that will be the final of the three drafts that we will do. Trying to tie best our ability pick uh, where we think that the Saints want to go, but like I, we've said in prior in previous drafts, the Saints are a team. If we're looking at this year, and uh, you give your quick thoughts too, DC, we're looking at this year with New Orleans, and to me, man, they got a few really good people, a lot of good veterans, and they filled a lot of holes with experienced veterans. Kurt Kurt Coleman was a guy that's going to come and bring a lot of experience to the secondary. So with Patrick Robinson, Demarco Davis is the the hitter and brainy. Hard hitting guy nobody that's available. Think that's that, that's a good move either, man. That's the interesting thing, to right? Me. Nobody's talking about that move, and that, and that's why I like it so much because I know what Demario Davis can bring. I know what he did up in New York with the Jets. You know, he's serious. And if you don't know who Demario Not Davis is, he's from Mississippi. He wanted to be here. Brandon, Mississippi. If you don't know who Demario Davidson, I invite you to take your butt and listen to what Jamal Adams said about him. Google what Jamal Adams said about Double D, and you'll know what time it is. Anyway, that's the end of the show today. Thank you for joining us on the Sports Coma uh, 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 Saints NFC News Champion, Notes. Baby. NFC South Champion. We, we loaded. We loaded to the hilt, man, and we coming in strong. The Saints, once again, the Saints get their man. Cameron Meredith, the Bears decline to match the offer. We got him coming in here. Look out, man. We got an athlete here, so big ups. Big ups to New Orleans. Big ups to the Saints. Thanks, y'all, for joining us today at the Sports Coma. Uh, Big Q and the guy. And of course, as usual, if you like the show, share, uh, join our social media pages. If you want to, if you really enjoy it, go to patreon.com slash the PRO Media Network. Make a donation. Help us build a platform. From me and DC, peace.